Secretary will call the roll. Allen, Anderson, Bates, Bell, Berryhill, Block, Canella, DeLeon, Fuller, Gaines, Galgiani, Glazer, Hall, Hancock, Hernandez, Hertzberg, Hill, Hueso, Huff, Jackson, Lara, Leno, Leva, Lou, McGuire, Mendoza, Mitchell, Monning, Morlock, Morell, Wynn, Nielsen, Pan, Pavley, Roth, Runner, Stone, Vidak, Wykowski, Wolk. Members, a quorum is present. Would the members and our guests beyond the rail and in the gallery please rise? We will be led in prayer this afternoon by our chaplain, Sister Michelle Gorman, after which, uh, please remain standing. We will be led in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag by Senator Hill. Let us recall that we are in God's presence. Gracious and loving God, we gather today conscious that your spirit of wisdom moves in each of us as it has moved in all people since the beginning of human life. May we be wise in our sharing and ready to listen to each other. May we be open to learning where new insights and knowledge may lead us while drawing on wisdom that stands the test of time. May we be courageous enough to discard whatever can no longer sustain us and allow your spirit to flow clearly and graciously as we work to do your will. Amen. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Okay, members, uh, privileges of the floor. <laughs> Senators Mendoza. at the pro tem's desk. Senator Mendoza. Thank you, Mr. President. Senators, it's an honor for me to bring forward this resolution to be presented today to the, Port for the, to the Council of Portugal. SCR 62 will declare June 10th as Portugal Day. California has had a long history with the Portuguese community, dating back to September of 1542 when Portuguese explorer Jose Rodriguez Cabrillo sailed a ship into San Diego Bay, becoming the first European explorer to explore the land known as California. With me here today, we have our Consul General of Portugal, Mr. Nuno Matias, out of San Francisco, as you can tell, we do have the Portuguese flag in front of our roster. The Consul General holds a degree in law from the Autonomous University of Lisbon and post-graduation degree in European Studies from Catholic University in Lisbon. Mr. Matthias began his diplomatic service in 1993 and was an advisor to the Portuguese delegation to the United Nations General Assembly in 1994 and 1995. Mr. Matthias has worked tirelessly throughout his life to serve his country and has done a wonderful job of doing so 
as Consul General here in California since 2012. The Portuguese community has contributed much to our state in the fields of business, medicine, technology, and politics, among others. Additionally, their positive influence over agricultural prowess has been substantial, especially in the dairy industry. It is my honor and pleasure to also introduce other special guests that are here from our district and throughout our state. We have Mr. Ali Taj, council member from the city of Artesia. We have Mr. Lino Amaral, CEO of Luso American Life Insurance Society. Mr. Gary Rohrbaugh, CEO of Portuguese Fraternal Society of America. We have Mr. Eduardo Eusebio, Manuel Bentecourt. We have John Martins, who's a former mayor and council member of the city of Artesia. We also have Mr. Nelson Ponta Gar Garcia, CEO and of NPG Productions. We have Mr. Arvaldo Polinia, Vice President of Diaspora Media Group. We have Jose Avila, publisher editor with the Portuguese Tribune. And we have Mr. Manuel Eduardo Vieira, President of AV Thomas Produce. Mr. Decio de Oliveira, Director of the Portuguese Organization of Social Services and Opportunities. And last but not, uh, not least, Mr. Manuel Pires, owner, broker of Rico, Pitzer, Pires, and Associates. I would also like to recognize our special guests that are here in the gallery. Um, to honor all of our guests with us here today, we have prepared this resolution in honor of Portugal Day, and I ask each and every one to please join me in applauding and bringing forth our, Portu our uh, Consul General from Portugal out of San Francisco, Mr. Nunes. Mr. Nunes. Welcome. Welcome, Council General Atheist, to the California State Senate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this wonderful day. As you know, um, Portugal and California uh, uh, are, uh, have a wonderful and outstanding relationship throughout the years. Portugal was the very first country to recognize the Union. And um, since, uh, since then, uh, it was mentioned here, Cabrillo was the Portuguese navigator who discovered California. Portuguese community in California was started settling here in the 1850s, and since then has been an instrumental part of the success of this great state. And um, it's through the eyes of that community that I'm here today, and I'm, I'm very privileged to be here, and I wanted to thank you all for, this, uh, for passing this resolution. Thank you. Thank you, we appreciate your friendship. <laughs> Senators will now move forward. Um, Senator, Lara? Senator Lara, excuse me. Thank you, Mr. President and members. As we welcome our Portuguese guests, I uh, want to take a second to, uh, to thank them for their hospitality when we uh, uh, last year had a, a delegation of senators who went to visit uh, Portugal and we learned about uh, the public safety issues and uh, some of the innovative things you're all doing when it comes to reducing uh, drug use within the population. And so uh, I wanted just to thank you all. Uh, Oh, and we had an, um, we went to an amazing Fado restaurant. Uh, that's right. And personally, you know, for me, I, I've been to, to Portugal many times, been all over uh, Lisboa, uh, Porto, uh, Albufeira, and it, it's a beautiful, beautiful country. And I just want to say personally, somebody that's been there multiple times, uh, Benvindo, uh, and it's great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Lara. Thank you, Senator Mendoza. And we'll now move uh, forward with Senator Allen from the pro temps desk.
Senator Allen. So, well, thank you, thank you, Mr. President, and um, I'll say that was uh, that presentation was muito legal, as my Brazilian friends would say. I, I we're now going to honor a new group of folks, and would appreciate your attention. Members, could we please have uh, your attention so that we can hear Senator Allen? We're going to introduce our guests uh, on the floor today representing the Los Angeles Daily Breeze, which is a newspaper based in Torrance that serves the South Bay of Los Angeles County. And it was recently awarded a Pulitzer Prize for local reporting. It's a huge honor for the paper, uh, for our local community, and for the entire state. Now, the Pulitzer was awarded for the Daily Breeze a series of more than 50 articles spanning six months in 2014 in which they exposed a local school district's questionable management and financial decisions. Uh, this Pulitzer for local reporting is given for, quote, a distinguished example of reporting on significant issues of local concern, demonstrating originality and community expertise using any available journalistic tool. Now, this is quite an honor for the Daily Breeze, uh, which has a circulation of approximately 70,000. Uh, winners in other Pulitzer categories were the New York Times, Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, LA Times. Uh, it's the first time the LA News Group has ever won a Pulitzer in its over 100 years of history. It's very, it's very unusual that a smaller local paper like this wins a Pulitzer, and that's why we were so excited to have the opportunity to honor the paper here today. Uh, so in this series, the reporting was clear, it was concise, it was fact-based, it was comprehensive. They were also very well written and really good reads. It was not just excellent journalism, but the series had a powerful impact on the community, particularly with the families and students served by the school district that was at the center of the reporting. It brought to light in the series increased transparency uh, about a vital, vitally important local institution, a school district that governs three high schools, 6,600 6, students. It informed the community about the alleged mismanagement of the school district by the elected board members and hired staff and helped to bring accountability from the elected boards. So it's my pleasure, uh, and I know that, that my, my colleague Isidore Hall, who also represents a portion of the area that's served by the Daily Breeze, we're very excited to have our friends from the Daily Breeze here today. Uh, the three individuals named in the Pulitzer were reporters Rob Kuznina, Kuznia and Rebecca Kimtit, Kimich, and also the city editor uh, Frank Sirachi, um, who couldn't be here today. Uh, and accepting our resolution on behalf of the Daily News today are executives from the parent, the, the parent company of the paper, the LA News Group. And I think we've got um, Michael Anasazi, who's the vice president and executive editor of the paper, uh, Ron Haas, who's the president and publisher, and also uh, Tony Shakwa, who is the managing editor of digital operations. So on behalf of the State Senate, we very much congratulate you on, attain on attaining this very high honor, and I ask you to welcome our guests here today. Congratulate them. Thank you, Senator Allen and the LA Daily Breeze. I did want to take a moment here to recognize Senator Kevin Murray, who was uh, chair of the Senate Appropriations Committee. Welcome. <laughs> Members, if we could now uh, move on, Senator Weso at Senator DeLeon's desk. Pass, okay. Senator Weso? Pass, okay. Senator Hill. 
under motions and resolutions. So granted. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I'd like to move to the inactive file, file number 15, please. File item 15, thank you. The desk will note, thank you. Senator Jackson, for what purpose do you rise? Yes, under privileges of the floor. Uh, colleagues, there's a, a group of rowdy folks up in the gallery wearing pink. They are here for Planned Parenthood Action Day. No, no, I... <laughs> so sorry, I encouraged that, my apologies. But if uh, folks, we could give a round of applause to the over 500 people here representing Planned Parenthood Action Day. Um, they are here to make sure that we know how they feel about their issues. And again, if you would all join me in giving them a warm round of applause. Thank you, Senator Jackson, and welcome to Planned Parenthood. Just to clarify uh, for the future, uh, please no applause uh, in the gallery. Thank you. We will now uh, move on to uh, messages of the governor will be deemed read, messages from the assembly will be deemed read, reports of committee will be deemed read, and amendments adopted. <laughs> Members, could I please have your attention? Okay, thank you. Um, under motions, resolutions, and notices, Senator Allen. Uh, I just wanted to request permission to move SB 454 to the inactive file. The desk will note. Thank you. Members will now um, move forward to uh, consideration of the daily file. Uh, we have government, governor's appointments, uh, items one and three. Senator DeLeon, are you prepared to bring these forward? Senator De Leon. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, colleagues, we have uh, governor's appointment before us, uh, Wet uh, Kidani, who uh, is currently the director of the Department of Consumer Affairs. Uh, Members, uh, let's please uh, show respect to our leader, uh, Senator De Leon, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this uh, appointment was heard before the uh, Rules Committee on May the 6th, and he was approved on a 4 to 0 vote, uh, no opposition. Uh, Mr. Kidani was the Chief Deputy Director for the Department uh, through 2012 and 2014. He has a first hand experience uh, with the administration. Uh, uh, this is a, a, an organization or an agency that has 32 boards and bureaus. Uh, unfortunately, he has inherited a computer system uh, that was in the process of being upgraded. Unfortunately, this project, like so many other uh, computer projects currently that plagues so many uh, agencies right now, that has been troubled. He has the ability to go in there firsthand. He recognizes the challenges uh, that are before him, and he has a real focus to get it fixed, uh, So, which is a, a fresh of breath there. Uh, with that, again, no opposition, and I respectfully ask for an I vote. Great, thank you. Uh, members, uh, debate or discussion? Hearing none, uh, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. Aye. Anderson? No. no. Bates? No. no. Bell? Aye. Aye. Berryhill? Block? Aye. Aye. Canella? Aye. Aye. De Leon? Aye. Aye. Fuller? Gaines, Galgiani, I Glazer, I Hall, I Hancock, I Hernandez, I Hertzberg, I Hill, I Weso, I Huff, Jackson, I Lada, I Leno, I Leva, 
Aye. Lou? McGuire? Aye. Aye. Mendoza? Aye. Mitchell? Aye. Aye. Monning? Aye. Aye. Morlock? Morell? No. Wynn? Aye. Aye. Nielsen? Pan? Aye. Aye. Pavley? Aye. Aye. Roth? Aye. Aye. Runner? <laughs> Stone? No. Vidak? No. Wykowski? I Wolk. Wolk, I. Please call the absent members. Mendoza, I. Berryhill? Fuller? Gaines? Huff? Lou? Lou, I. Morlock? Morlock, no. Nielsen? Runner? Eyes 28, no 6, appointment confirmed. Senator De Leon. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, uh, just one last confirmation before us. It is file item number three. We have Joyce Dudley. We have Sandra Hutchins, Reverend Jethro Moore the second, and Lori Smith. These are all members of the Commission on Peace Officer Standards and Training, that are commonly known as POST. We also have with us Dolores Dolly Sandoval, who is a member of the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta Conservancy Governing Board. These appointments were heard on May uh, the 20th uh, before the Rules Committee. They all pass on a 4-0 to zero vote, no opposition. On uh, the Commission on Post, uh, Joyce Dudley is with the Santa Barbara County District Attorney's Office. Um, Sandra Hutchins is the Orange County Sheriff Coroner. Reverend Jethro, Jethro Moore is a community school specialist. Lori Smith is the Sheriff for Santa Clara County, and finally, Dolores Sandoval uh, for the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta Conservancy Governing Board is the mayor of the city of C uh, Cupertino. These all pass on a 4 to 0 vote. I respectfully ask for an aye vote. Thank you, Senator De Leon. Uh, members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. Aye. Anderson? Aye. Aye. Bates? Aye. Aye. Bell? I Berryhill, I Block, I Canella, I De Leon, I Fuller, I Gaines, I, I Galgiani, I Glazer, I Hall, I Hancock, I Hernandez, I Hertzberg, I Hill, I Hueso, I Huff, I Jackson, I Lara. I Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Monning, I Morlock, I Morell, I Wynn, I Nielsen, I Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, I Stone. I Vidak, I Wykowski, I Wolk, Wolk I. Eyes 40, no zero. The appointments are confirmed.